sure what has quite possessed me to try and take took up the steepest head in Wales. Well, not Wales, but certainly in this area. But we're going to have a go. When that drive belt just died, bugger. Oh dear. Yeah, I think the belt's disintegrated. Crap. Well, I'm not fixing that roadside, I don't think. Not unless I get Mrs. Hubnut to launch a rescue mission. Oh, crap. Well, that has not gone at all well. Um, she's entirely shredded the belt to pieces. Uh, I think what's probably happened is the new number one pulley I fitted on this side is not adjusting correctly, and that's just putting too much tension on the belt. And it's just literally ripped it apart. So now we're stuck on this nice, quite deserted road in Mid Wales. Um, hoping the farmer doesn't turn up and tell me to get off his land. Uh, Mrs. Hubner is on the way, so parod you a nipper to the rescue, hopefully. Well, isn't this a merry scene? Um, Mrs. Hubner has bought the nipper, which is the, the trusty rescue vehicle and um, we're having fun ripping the interior apart. Not, uh, not the interior of the nipper, no. Um, so we've got the pulleys off. Both pulleys were a bit reluctant to come off, which was interesting in itself, but nonetheless we've got them both off now. We're going to go back to the original pulley this side and um, then refit the belts, which we won't cover because we can't get a good camera angle to cover this because we're both in there doing it. But that will be our next step. Well, that's been interesting. This is the number two pulley we took off, and that's sea solid. We can't open it up enough to get the belt in, so we've had to use the spare one. For, thankfully, Mrs. Hubner bought many pulleys, 
So this is the one that I wasn't convinced was any good yesterday, but we have managed to open it enough to get the belts in. Having to hold the tension on the belts so the belt doesn't spring out. And now we're going to try and fit it to a tuck. It's a lovely fun afternoon out, isn't it? Right, where have I put the key? I want to take the key out. I suppose we'll unlock the boot. Engine cover, not boot. Don't generally put the engine in the boot. Ah, give me your glove back. Right. We appear to have forwards again. Am I going to scare the cat? Just go for a short test drive. Seems to work. Make things better than ever. Oh, hope we don't get stuck here. That would be exciting. Which is nice. Oh. Right, we'll get the guard back on, we'll get the cover back on, and go home for a cup of tea. Right, uh, make sure my plunge is in place, handbrake off. Let's see how we do. Eight miles home.
actually rolls so much better. Uh, it's so much smoother. Oh. This is just marvellous. She's a car transformed. Um, so eventually, I think we've managed to get there. It's um, taken a long time, but that is the best she's ever driven. Uh, let's see where I'm going so I can see where my um, shock is by. Because you can't leave any of the car in gear. Oh, I've just hit it. And um, there you go, she's rolling again. And uh, I don't like leaving the handbrake on, so I have a resting on a chop that I just keep crashing into. Uh, I think I've just flattened my chop. Oh, poor chop. Uh, it does the job. Anyway, there you go. That is um, that's the tale of how Took uh, finally had her belt issues resolved. All we had to do was shred one to pieces. Oh. Never a dull moment with Hubnut. So there you go. Um, it's been um, yeah a, a bit of faff, but we finally got there. So um, all I can say now is hopefully she's set fair to appear at the NEC. Um, early November at the Classic Motor Show. <laughs> Let's hope so. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Don't forget you can buy Tuk t-shirts at hubnut.org and I shall see you in a future video. I need a cup of tea. Farewell. So, hello George.